And for Indiana, they've got the ball now, and they move it around the perimeter. There's Grace Berger, top of the key, and she dumps it down low to Mackenzie Holmes, who nice shoulder fake, scores it right away, and we're tied here 2-2. Yeah, and a really nice cut there by Hicks. She was able to get under the basket, get open, and get that quick layup. A lot of what both of these teams do is they like to get the ball down low, so look for that all night. But the size right there, as you see Mackenzie Holmes driving in and trying to get a basket, that's, that's going to be the battle tonight. Holmes was stifled by the rim. It looked like left it short, but Alexa Colbe was there to clean up the offensive board and put it in for two. Minute and a half into the game, and we're tied at four. Pretty good pace, and Berger reaching her hand in, and there's a steal. That ball dumped now, now to Alexa Golbe in the post. Kick out, Berger for three, and she drills it. Grace Berger for three, and we get a timeout. Excuse me, against NC State. Other day, knocked down a couple triples. Turnaround, Jay is good. Oh, that was a pretty looking shot. Dumped into the post, Holmes going to work. She's double teamed. Kick back out to Patford. Now Golbe open for three. Bang! Alexa Golbe drilling the three. Lowry handling the ball. Dri driving with her left hand, going up, blocked by Holmes. Yeah, and Kenzie Holmes gonna have... getting up. They're going to need her to score a lot more than 18 tonight. As Golbay reaches her hand in and a steal. She's going coast to coast and lays it in. Fighting for that loose ball, but she wasn't able to come up with it. Instead, the Stags hang on to it and another block by Holmes. That's her second of the game. So you had to think that things would normalize a little bit. For Daniel Hillary, a 36% career shooter from three-point range. As Berger's gonna try a long two and hit it. Lewis, another of those players that we got to talk to. Oh, nice, nice play lead. in the Alexa Kolbe. Now down in the post, Moore McNeil on the feed. And the bucket, and the foul. Chloe Moore McNeil, tough finish in the paint. Grace Berger moving up and under, fouled, and she's got a chance for a three-point play. Grace Berger. Interesting start for the Stags. They have Lopez Seneschal, who's already on the court, three personal fouls. Is, that's a great block by Mackenzie Holm. Cardano, Hillary, and Pat Bird. Uh, but then you see Mackenzie, or excuse me, Nicole Cardano. Uh, there's a three knockdown. Chloe Moore, McNeil, and Kendra Brown off the bench. Indiana could shoot 100%, but if they're turning the ball over, and especially turning it over more than the other team, uh, she's not going to be a happy camper. Grace Berger goes to the cup, count it, and the foul. Four fouls tonight, comes back into the game. We have not seen her since early in the third quarter. Yeah, she had nine points. No rush. But you look at the size lead, you're up by 33. No reason to push the ball, no reason to force anything, no reason to turn the ball over. There's an and one by Mackenzie Holmes, goes up strong with the basket. 80 to 47, comfortable 33 point lead over the Stags as Alexa Golbe has it, lost it for a second. Corrales and she puts it up in the post and it goes. Going into Monday might see a, a shifting in the polls. Not saying Indiana's gonna jump all the way up to number three after this, but could be some rearranging. For sure, Alexa Golbe gets the pass, and she drills it. Kaylin Peterson with the ball now. So really getting to see the reserves tonight. Peterson going up and going in. Oh, Kaitlyn Peterson, tough finish with the right hand. And the Hoosiers moving it around the perimeter now. Wagner gets it over to Peterson, over to Zarich. Wagner under the basket, tries to go up another edge, and she gets it to go. Woo! 